So since the last video update, Project Freefall has made fairly significant progress on the gameplay side of things. I will be releasing another tech demo in the next couple days. In this video, I'm just going to be going over all of the changes since the last. Uh, same as before, there's only one map, Sanctuary. Free for All and Team Deathmatch, you can play on it. And then there are, of course, bots, which I'll add a few because they will help me out in showing off the weapons. And first thing I'm going to do is, once I spawn, I'm going to head up to some pickups that I put in a place just so I could show what the pickups are. Then afterwards, I'm going to go review the weapons and their mechanical behaviors. So now that I'm spawned, let's see if I can thread the needle. Okay. So there are the pickups over here. So I'll start with ammo pickups. These two are both ammo pickups. The blue here is a general ammo pickup. It gives ammo to every weapon you have, and it's based on a percentage of the maximum that the weapon is allowed to have. So you note the starting values of these, five, three, five, okay, three. So I walk over, it gives this one 15, gives this one two, this one two. You can tell that they have the same max limit. The bullets here will give a they give ammo to the weapon you have equipped. So if you have a preferred weapon, you're going to want to switch to that first and then pick it up. And it will give more than the general purpose ammo. Now I'll go over to health. And all four of these are health pickups, but they are different in how they um, will heal you. The first two here, these are standard health pickups. They will only heal you to 100 health. The yellow is a 25, and then the orange is a 50. The green and white are super health pickups, which means they will heal you beyond 100 health to the maximum of 200 health. So the green is 5 and the white is 100. Then these three starred pickups are armor pickups. The green is 5, the blue is 25, the magenta is 50, and the red is 100. All of them will take you up to the armor max of 200. And with pickups reviewed, now I'm just going to hop down and start walking through the weapons and uh, killing some bots. So all the pickups that you see here inside the map are actually planned to stay the way they are. Okay, I need to pick up some more ammo for this. Now the flinger, since I'm using this one, this is called the flinger. It is a velocity inheritance weapon, which means that it inherits all velocity that, well, not all velocity, rather, it inherits the velocity that you currently have, and it's a percentage of it. It's 75%. It fast firing does okay damage, does 15 damage for direct hits, has some splash damage. If uh, anybody who's familiar with Quake will know that about plasma climbing, which is something that you can do with this interesting with the jetpack as well yeah. okay. the other thing you're hearing here I should preface that I'm recording without sound so I actually don't hear things um, and what you're hearing while I'm recording and I'm not is the hit indicator the hit indicator sound it's high pitched for low damage and low pitch for high damage so now that I've used the flinger a bit I'll switch to the slinger this is another velocity inheritance weapon uh, it's think like the rocket launcher from Quake, but it's velocity inheritance, so it will inherit your movement as well. It's 75% just like the flinger. Um, does 100 damage on direct hit. Ooh, I think there's a bot here. Yes, there is. All right. So now I'll just switch up to the rocket launcher. This is a speed inheritance weapon. And speed inheritance weapons, they inherit the velocity that is in line with the direction you're firing in. Essentially what it means is that it will fire exactly where your crosshair is pointing when you click. The velocity inheritance weapons, they, have, they also inherit your sideways movement as well. So the crosshair is not as useful. This is also 100 damage on direct hit. Now I'm going to switch. This is the mortar. It has interesting behavior in that uh, during the first second of its life, if it hasn't hit anything, it will explode on impact. If it does hit something, it will explode on the third bounce. So to give... Actually, let me get myself here. Not be silly. So to give an example, fire up. And that detonated on impact there, but if I fire at the ground, 
it'll skim a bit. Eee! Backing up into bots. It's always fun to play without sound. So anyhow, that's the mortar in a nutshell. It is a two-stage weapon. I should actually really review that. It's a two-stage weapon, which means the first explodes and spawns a bunch of projectiles, which then spread out a bit and in turn explode themselves. Very useful for putting in holes where someone might corner an explosion really easily. And by corner, I mean just... They'd just get around the edge of a corner just enough to where an explosion wouldn't hit them. Well, the mortar... Because it's a two-stage and it has a bunch of secondaries, it will likely hit the person anyways. So the next and final weapon that I'll be reviewing here, this is the Grenade Launcher. It's another speed inheritance weapon, and uh, I'll wait until the next match here to go to review it, I guess in the time that I'm waiting here. Uh, the next tech demo will be out in the next couple days, and I, unless you've got some friends to play with, I'm not planning to do any net tests immediately i'm but i do probably a week later i will i want to see if i can get together a play test just to see if we can kind of fill a server do some free-for-all and uh shoot at each other with so aside from the tech demos uh keep your eyes open for when that comes so now i'll do the grenade launcher again the grenade launcher is interesting in that it explodes on the second bounce so I tend to, if I'm firing directly at someone, I tend to... Uh, bots are going to murder me. I gave these bots enough health to be kind of dangerous. You can't kill them in one shot unless you mortar them. Ah, I'm out of ammo. Okay. This is not good. I'm trying to demonstrate the grenade launcher. There we go. Okay. So that was a general ammo pickup. Here's a specific one. There we go. So that's all the weapons. That's all the pickups. Um, I could do a, a little cycle here for everybody. The red is down underneath this bridge. Then we've got specific and five super health pick ammo pickups here. Up in this crevasse, we've got the 50 armor pickup. Another specific out here, uh, whatever, on this area. And then another general pickup. This is a 25 health pickup up there. Another general, and then ammo. What's up, Mr. Bot? All right. And the specific ammo pickup down here. I'm actually going to switch over to the slinger. Pick up the mega. And then a 25 armor. Another specific. And then up above, I've got some armor placed. And then also on the side over here, there's some more little uh, five super health pickups. And then there's a 50 health pickup hanging out below this platform. Great for catching while moving past it. Damn, I myself to uh, pick it up. Good to grab in transit. Ooh. So anyhow, that's it. If you like the video, um, keep an eye out for the tech demo and such. If you got any questions or comments, you can, of course, post on the YouTube page or on Twitter or on the game forums. Uh, you'll find me around. Anyhow, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.